Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Na, and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym. Today on day four of our 12 days of business, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can use Canva to create a ebook for free. You can pretty much create an ebook on any topic that you would like, anything that interests you or your customer or your audience. And you can do it all for free and I'm gonna show you all just how to do it. Just I talked to you guys some about creating digital products as a business that you can start for under $100 in this video right here. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go ahead and make sure you tune into that. As an entrepreneur or a content creator, creating an ebook is something that is essential and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Creating an ebook, you can pretty much use any of your skill sets, expertise, or anything that you feel like would create value and substance to your target audience. Use that information and translate it into an ebook. You guys actually gave me that idea for some of my videos, and I will be doing that coming soon. But if you do have Canva or you're familiar with Canva, go ahead and pull up your Canva because we're about to jump right into it. If this is your first time using Canva, I'm going to make this tutorial super easy and super simple for all beginners. I'm going to show you guys what my screen looks like and we're going to jump into making our very first ebook. This is pretty much what your screen will look like. Okay, now I do have Canva Pro, but if you are just a Canva basic member, you can do this as well for the free version. So what we want to do when we're designing our ebook is we want to either create it in a letter format, which would be 8.5 by 11, or you can use the A4 format. And I'll show you how to do that. So go up to this button on the right hand side that says create a design and what we want to search for is letter we're going to do the letter template the u.s letter is eight and a half by eleven so go ahead and select that document once your workspace opens you now have a blank canvas to work with now keep in mind what the idea was for creating your ebook or what information you feel like you can get out to the world that would be very useful and helpful to somebody make sure that it's something that is not already done before or if it is Make sure that you create a unique spin to it or do it in a way that has not been done before because you want your ebook to sell, okay? So do your market research on that first. Um, what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and look at the templates that we have for an ebook. So let's go ahead and search ebook. Canva has so many templates already for you, and that's what I love about Canva, you guys. If you don't know what the vision of your ebook is, Canva has so many templates that we can work with and edit and do so in an easy way. So you can scroll through and look at all the templates that they have. Okay, so say you decide that starting from scratch is just too much work. And I trust me, I understand that this is your first ebook. We need a template or something that we can use our idea and take and take it into the Canva workspace and use a template to create our design. So go back to the home page and we're going to search ebook as the template. And we want a multiple page ebook and Canva will bring up all of the hundreds and thousands of templates that they have. You select which one you feel like you can work with the best and then we'll use that one. So let me scroll through and show you guys. There are so many templates. This is one of the reasons I love Canva. I just love it. Okay, I like this one. This is a self-love 101. We have a wellness guide and we have online business for steps. That is a good one. Okay. So yeah, you can scroll through and see which template you like and what you feel like you can tweak the best to work for you. But I'm going to go ahead and do, I think we're going to do this self-love 101 book just because I feel like that's on my heart to do right now. So let's click customize this template. Keep in mind if you don't have Canva Pro, some of the templates won't be available to you, but they still do have templates that you can see. So now that we've got our ebook pulled up, this is just going to be the cover of our ebook. Okay, so what you can do is go up to file, select view settings, and we want to make sure that we can see the ruler and the guide on our actual file so that everything is going to be in line okay so we want to show the margins we want to show the ruler at the top okay that's just going to make so that everything is neat and organized and okay so if this was me designing an ebook here's the cover free ebook self-love 101 created with love by olivia wilson we're going to change all these things i'm going to show you how the first thing we want to jump into is how to change the background if you don't like the background of your ebook cover i'll show you how to change it so you want to go ahead and click delete if you don't like that, you can click delete and here is what they have underneath. Say we don't like that, we want to delete it. What they do offer is if you go over into the elements tab, you can select all different type of backgrounds. So say you like pink, pink represents love. So let's do pink background and see what comes up. You can go to the photos and you can click see all. And here are some of the options of pink that we have. So I'm just going to pick one and you will drag it onto your workspace. 
Canva will do all the work for you and make sure that it's beautifully placed onto the background of our cover. Just like that. We're going to change this from free ebook. We may not need that there, so I'm just going to delete that. Self Love 101. And if you want to change the font, select the font and go up to the tab where there is the font options. Canva has so many different font options, you guys. I mean, you can play around with this all day long. But I want something a little bit more girly, you know, a little bit more girly. So I'm going to actually type in calligraphy. And you can go through and see which of these fonts fits you the best. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet, but let's see. Okay, we can stick with this one for now. Again, you guys, you can play around with this. You can select font. I actually like this one a little bit better. Okay, so we will keep our font like this. And I'm going to make a space like that and make the one-on-one -on, -one on a separate line like this. You can drag the corners of your image or your text or whatever it is to make it larger or smaller. Or you can use the plus size button at the top and you can increase the font size. All right, so... Do you notice that there are lines in between every time I move whatever graphic it is I'm working on? Those purple lines are your friend during your designing process. They will let you know if you're centered, if you're not centered. Right now, this placement is exactly centered because we have that hard purple line going through the middle. So I'm going to keep it like that. We're going to change this down here to Created with Love by, by Nye. And then we're going to put our website as www. We're just going to make something up, selflove.com. Okay, cover is done, pretty much, just like that. It was very simple. All we did was change the title. We changed a couple of things with the text in the background, and we've got a good cover for our ebook. And you want to go up to the top, and you want to click Add Page, because we're going to create multiple different pages for this ebook. So now we'll go back up to the Design tab. Okay, so you want to search for ebook pages in the Templates tab, and you'll scroll down and find a page that you feel like you can work with. Or I'm just going to use a basic, a basic template like this. Okay, so on this template page, once you select it, it will automatically transfer over to that page that you just added into your Canva workspace. Now here's what we have to work with. We don't like anything about this because this doesn't match our actual ebook. But again, I'll show you guys exactly what to do. So we're going to change out this photo. Let's go up to the Elements tab and we're going to search Self Love as a photo. Canva has tons and thousands of different free photos that you can use for your ebook. So go down and find a picture that you feel like best represents Self Love and you're going to use that. I think this one or let's see, even this one. This one's really nice. Okay, as you guys can see, all I'm doing is clicking and dragging the photo, okay? Here's one. I like it. It matches the cover. It's pink. It's pretty. It says, I love me. If you want to edit your photo, you can go up to this edit photo button. And here's where you can do a lot of different things. You can go to add a shadow on the image. If you want to, you can remove the background with Canva Pro. Um, if you'd also like to change the color and things like that, you can do that with the adjust tab. We can change the brightness. We can lower the brightness. We can add shadows or we could reduce the shadows. There's a lot of different options that you can actually use to edit your photos in Canva. Now this says Summer Essentials. We're going to change that to say Beginner Self Love Guide. Okay? And obviously what you would do is change the font because we don't, that font doesn't match. We want something cute. Let's go back and use the same font that we used in our title. This font is called Daydream. Now, because this is automatically in all uppercase letters and we don't want that, go up into this button right here, select it, and you can lowercase every letter in the title. And then we'll go through and make sure that it is correct with the first letter of every word being uppercase. Now, another thing I like to do with the text on my pages is I'll go over to the spacing button. And you see how they've adjusted the spacing so that the letters are a little bit further apart? We're going to change that, and I'm going to make sure that each letter is a little bit more close together, like that. That looks cute. Okay. Now, again, all of this text in here is just sample text that they use in the template. Obviously, you would edit this to match your ebook. And now, what I will tell y'all is if you want a little business hack to create an ebook, you can head over to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT will basically help us to create our ebook in just like that, okay? Okay, so now that I've got ChatGPT pulled up, I want to tell ChatGPT to create an ebook about self love. 
just simple like that. Create an ebook about self love. Here you go. Chat GPT will do its thing. If you want to use this as a basis or a template or a guide, I highly recommend doing so. You can be cranking out ebooks just like that. Now, what I do recommend is to make sure that you go through and edit. You want your ebook to be very authentic and you don't want to give someone information that you don't truly believe in or if you have not tested the information for yourself. So be authentic in your work and your verbiage. But here's a quick way that you can do that. So ChatGPT has basically created us a title, a table of contents, and even a appendix for the back. OK. All right. We're going to tell ChatGPT to create our introduction about de defining self-love. OK, so here we go. Now ChatGPT was doing this thing. We're going to copy and paste this. And because this is an example, I'm going to directly copy and paste, plug it into that ebook. But like I said, take my advice on editing. So I'm going to click copy, go back over to Canva. And we're going to simply just paste. OK, so like I said, we will have to delete a lot of things. I'm going to remove this. And with Canva, you can easily drag and drop things. So I like the flexibility of moving things to the space that you want them to be in and making your ebook look exactly like you want it to. So this is a little bit too much information on this one little section. So we're going to copy all of that and delete it. OK, so here is the first page of our ebook. Something that I want to show you guys really quickly is that you can also create a table of contents for your ebook. So let's go back up to our title. Let's click add page and go over to the design tab again. OK, so we're going to use this table of contents page. We're going to click the plus button. It will automatically insert into our page. Let's change the background of this to Here's how you change the color using Canva. You will click the background of whatever document page you are using and you can either select a color from what they have available or you can go up to this plus button and create your own color. And I typically like to create my own color. So I'm going to use this like very light pink. OK, so here's the pink that I'm going to use for my table of contents. Again, like I said earlier, you can change the font to match the font of the rest of your book. And then you will just edit your table of contents. We did go ahead and create our table of contents using ChatGPT. So that part should already be done for you. And what I recommend doing is changing the pages, changing the title page at the top of your document so that you can stay organized. So we'll change this to table of contents. OK, and we'll change this to self love book cover and scroll down and we'll change this to page one. OK, let's zoom out and now let's click duplicate page. You can use the same page for the beginning of each of the chapters in your ebook. You can start off with the picture at the top and then text at the bottom and follow each page with new pages of text. That's kind of the template that I would use. So what we're going to do since this is the next page, we're going to delete this image. We don't need an image for all of the pages, just the beginning page. Drag our text up to the top. And you can click and select all the different boxes on your page at once if you like. And we can slide that up and then click this button for duplicate so that you can have more space for more text. And I'm going to show you what your page would look like. OK. Here's the title, table of contents, page one. And this would be page two. So change that title to page two. So if you click this little grid view button on the bottom right hand corner of your canvas screen, you can actually zoom out to see what all of the pages of your ebook look like thus far. This is a really good hack to creating an ebook and doing so in a simple way. So now that we got the couple of different template pages that we need, a cover, table of contents, a beginning of the chapter page, and our actual text pages for the ebook, we can go ahead and duplicate this page as many times as we need to to make sure that we have our pages in between our cover of the chapter. So then I'll duplicate the cover of the chapter for chapter two and we'll drag that down here. We'll drag it to this spot here. And as you can see, we have a chapter one cover page, four pages and then a chapter two cover page. And then again, we will duplicate our base template for the text page and just drag that down and then duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Just like that, we are creating our ebook. 
Okay, so now let's go back out to close the grid view and we're gonna scroll up to our chapter two cover page. Let's go ahead and change the image for this, you guys. Let's change it up. Let's go back and let's look at another self-love image. Hmm. I did earlier say that I like this one. So if you click that, you can go ahead and just drag that into the spot of where the previous image was. And we're gonna make this title, what was the title for chapter two? Understanding your worth. Okay, so now let's change that to understanding your worth. Again, you will use the text that you can either get from ChatGPT or what you have written yourself, and you will change all of that out. And this is the last page. So say we wanted to delete the text that's on the bottom of our page, and we want a video to actually teach more in depth about whatever topic it is we're talking about. Here's what you guys can do. Go up to the element tab, or go up to the uploads tab, you can upload a video to Canva and use a video that you have created yourself. Or say you're a YouTuber like myself and you do more in-depth videos over on your YouTube channel. And without having to type everything out, you want to give your audience a reference to go and watch that video that covers that specific topic. Here's what we can do. Let's go up. For example purposes, I'm going to search up self-love and we're going to click the video tab. And we're going to drag that video into our ebook. So for example, say if this is our video. We will just drag that into the workspace and make it a little bit smaller so it fits. Make sure it's centered and boom, you just embedded a video into your ebook. This is a great way to capture more information and allow your audience to get like a more up close and personal view of you yourself or any reference material that they may need to, to fully understand your ebook's information. So that's something else that I wanted to share with you guys. The last thing that we need to cover in this example is how to actually export your ebook. We've gone over how to design, but how do you export the ebook? So what you'll do is go up to the share tab and we want to click the download button. You want to make sure that your file type is saved as a PDF file. So make sure you scroll up for PDF print. PDF standard is okay too, but I like to do PDF print just to make sure that if my audience is going to be printing out this document, that the colors and the text and everything is in the best quality possible for my clients. Make sure that you download this best for digital use and then just click download and your ebook will be downloaded and saved onto your computer. And that is pretty much it for how to create an ebook using Canva. Like I said, you guys, this process is 100% free. There are templates on Canva already, which makes it easier for us to do. And we can also utilize a free resource like ChatGPT to help us gather some ideas and help us get the ebook pushed out faster. Now, in order to do this in the way that is most efficient for you, you can get an ebook created and exported within seven days. But within those seven days, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you spend at least two or three hours every single day working on your ebook. Because within that seven day frame, if you are dedicated to it and you've already got the idea, you can get an ebook out like way before Christmas. And especially if you're marketing something that has to do with your products or a service that you offer, you can get that done. You just have to be dedicated and you just have to work at it every single day. Um, if you guys need any more help with how to create an ebook or how to sell an ebook, how to market an ebook, comment that down below. I will be doing a follow up video to this, but I wanted to show you guys the very, very basic beginner guide to how to create an ebook using Canva. If this video was useful or helpful for you in any way, Make sure that you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because we are on our road to 100k. And thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on day 5 of our 12 days of business. Love you guys. Peace.